Hi everybody, it's Miss Lori. Glad that you are joining me again today. Today I brought a couple things with me. You probably have some of these at home. You see these? Remote controls, right? Yeah, they're pretty special. They can do all kinds of things, all kinds of buttons on there to push. They can turn things on and off. Uh, you can make the volume go up or down. Change the channels when you're watching the TV. Decide what program you're going to watch. You can pause it maybe when you need to run out of the room for a minute and get something. You can rewind, fast forward. There are remotes that um, control TVs, but also maybe stereos or toys or even some cars have remotes that turn the engines on and off. Remotes are really special, right? Because whoever is holding the remote and can press those buttons, they have control or authority over those around them. They are the ones calling the shots, right? Or making all the decisions. Today's um, scripture or this week's scripture is about a time when Jesus was able to show people his authority and his power. And it's in Mark 1, 21 through, verses 21 through 28. But I'm just going to tell it to you instead of reading the whole thing. We'll just talk about it in my own words. But it was a time when Jesus, like I said, was able to show his authority. Basically a time when he was showing them that he was holding the remote. Um, so it was a Sabbath day and they were all in the synagogue. And there was a man there who had evil spirits within him. And those spirits cried out to Jesus and said, What do you want with us, Jesus? Have you come to destroy us? I know that you are the Holy One of God. And when Jesus heard that, he looked at the man and then he said to the, to the unclean spirits, he said to get out of the man. And it did. And the man was calm and peaceful for the first time in, in a long time. And the people that were around watching just were amazed. They couldn't believe this. They'd never seen anything like this before. Who was this person that even the evil spirits knew him and obeyed him? So this was when they realized that Jesus was teaching from great authority. Authority that they had never seen before. He was teaching from authority that God had given him as his son. And you know, Jesus still has that same authority today. And he wants to be in control of our lives. But before we talk about that a little bit, let's think about um, some questions that I'm going to ask you and, and that you can shout out the answer what you think at home um, or just think about it whatever works for you but I'm going to ask you some questions in, about people and authority in your lives and see what you answer so here we go the first one is who would you listen to about bedtime would you listen to your parents or would you listen to a neighbor probably your parents right because they know you and know your schedule and what goes on at your house. So they're the ones that set the rules for your house. They're the ones that have authority. So yes, your parents. Who would you listen to about turning in homework? A friend or your teacher? Some of you may have said your friend, but probably be best to be your teacher, right? Because your teacher has authority over the classroom, over your schoolwork. You probably should listen to what they say. Who would you listen to about fire safety? A fireman or a veterinarian? Yes, a fireman, of course, because they are trained to know about fire safety. A veterinarian has gone to school and is probably pretty smart, but not, they haven't, their authority is not in fire safety, right? Yeah. Who would you listen to about crossing the street? A crossing guard or a librarian? Again, the crossing guard, because that is his expertise. That's where he or she has authority. Who would you listen to about staying healthy? A doctor or the grocery store cashier? Yes, a doctor, of course. The grocery store cashier may be really nice and you have great conversations, but the doctor is the one who has authority and has been trained about health. Who would you listen to about obeying the law? A soccer coach? or a police officer? I think you probably said police officer and that would be right because they have authority. That's their expertise too in controlling the law, knowing the law. 
All right, I got one last question for you. Who would you listen to about what you should do and how you should live each day? Jesus or anyone else? Of course, Jesus. So you can yell that one out. Jesus, yes, right. As we've seen in this story and as we know, Jesus is God's son and he has authority. He has expertise. He has con he should have control of our lives. He wants to be in control of our lives. He wants to know the plan. He wants to know the plans we make, the words we say, the things we do, the people we hang out with, the places we go. And you're like, Ugh, I don't know if I want someone controlling everything about me. But you know, it's not like this, like this remote control. It's not like he just wants to push buttons just for the heck of it to control us. It's not like that at all. He wants to control us because he loves us and he wants what's best for us. And God has a plan for us and he uses Jesus to help us to see that plan, to see how we should live so that we are happiest. I know it's hard to understand sometimes, but by giving up control to God and following the examples of Jesus, we can live our best life. And that's what God wants for us. That's why we need to remember His authority. His plans are great for us, but they can't happen until we let go and like give Him control and honor that authority that He has, that He knows what is best for us, even though sometimes it might seem strange to us and not what we would have ever thought of. So it's going to be hard. We talk about that a lot. So many things about being a Christian maybe are hard or go against our, what we really want to think about or do. But in the end, they are always the best. They are always what will make us happiest. Let's say a prayer together. Maybe you can remember some of that this week. But I'll start it and give you a chance to repeat it after me. All right. All right. Let's pray. Dear God. We know that you have given Jesus great authority to teach us and to show us how you want us to live. Help us to give you control of our lives so that we can live like Jesus and follow your plans for us. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for listening. I hope that I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.